فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين وأصلي وأسلم على من أرسله الله رحمة للعالمين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد وإلى وكتاب الورقات للإمام أبي أبي معالي الجويني رحمه الله إمام الحرمين We were talking about um, in our previous uh, sit we talked about العلم النظري uh, which is the second type of ilm. Uh, we took daruri before that, and then we took nadari. And we were talking about what dalil means. Dalil. We were talking about what dalil was. And we mentioned what dalil meant linguistically. Inshallah ta'ala, today we're going to go into the definition of dalil in uh, its technical definition. So what does dalil mean technically? Wastil and it's the sharah of Abdullah ibn Salih al-Fawzan we're in. Where he's explaining the kitab al-waraqat. He said, وَاصْطِلَاحًا technically. Dalil is what? مَا يُمْكِنُ That which مَا يُمْكِنُ التَّوَصُّلُ بِصُحِيحِ النَّظَرِ That which pos- that which makes it possible to reach بِصُحِيحِ uh, النَّظَرِ with a correct observation. Uh, remember, بِصُحِيحِ النَّظَرِ that, that, Him saying that بِصُحِيحِ النَّظَرِ it is إضافة صفة إلى الموصوف إضافة صفة إلى الموصوف He should have said أي النظر الصحيح But what did he say? بصحيح النظر Putting it one before the other That's a, that's a grammatical point So basically it means that which is possible for you to reach بصحيح النظر with a correct observation إلى مطلوب خبري what would you reach? إلى مطلوب خبري ما معنى مطلوب خبري؟ مطلوب خبري means أي تصديق And we already took what تصديق means Because we took the word تصورات And we took the definition of تصديق Did we not? نعم تصديق means what? إدراك مع الحكم is perception with ruling So you're looking at a matter you're, whilst you're observing it, the looking here, brothers, is what? Al fikr. You're thinking and you're digesting a matter. Okay, with that, and you have the uh, you have the elements of of observation. You're entitled. You have the right. You have alatu alatu ijtihad with all of the sciences that you have. You're now doing a correct observation. With that observation, you want to reach a ruling. What is the example? Such as example, look. This is exactly what Dalil means. For example, It's like a person to say, To try to put a ruling on Nabiv. Nabiv is when you take date, date. And you pour water on the date And you let the de- date in the, with the, in the water Stay outside for a little bit of time And then you drink it It becomes A bit intoxicated If it stays out there for long The Prophet was aware of what? Grapes Are you with me? Nabiz Is when it's made out of what? Dates Pay attention so we say, we want to put a ruling on Nabid, right? This is how, we, this is Dalil. With the, the, the definition I gave. The person would say, Nabidu muskirun. Nabid intoxicates. Hey, that's the first step. Nabid muskirun it intoxicates. Wa kullu muskirin. And every intoxication. Haramun is haram. لقوله, what's the evidence? The speech of the messenger كل مسكرين Everything that intoxicates حرام is حرام فيلزم What necessitates from that ruling is what? النبيذ حرام That the نبيذ is what? حرام This is called what? 
مطلوب خبری مطلوب خبری pay attention wa'lam no abdullah ibn sarah al-fayzan says no he's bringing to your attention a very important matter which you really need to know and that dalila dalil dalil evidence is a term is a what it's a term lima kana mu lima kana mujiban lil ilm it is anything that necessitates knowledge pay attention ah dalil is anything that necessitates knowledge such as what kal mutawatiri like something that comes to you in a way of multitude narration are you with me or al ijma or it comes to you with what by consent are you with me wa ma kana at anything that comes to you mujiba lidhanni anything that comes to you by way of what dhan assumption is also dalil ha huh? it's a dalil kal qiyas la qiyas wal khabar al wahid and a singular narration wa nahwi dhalika and the likes of that so he's trying to teach you here a very important matter which is that a matter is a dalil whether it comes to you by way of knowledge and the knowledge he means here is certainty yaqeen the ilm here it means certainty sahih the knowledge here he means is what ilm which is certainty qat'i daruri certain knowledge ijma' al mutawatir how it comes to you or that which comes to you by way of dhan assumption it can be right it can be wrong is it ihtimal based on it is be- any knowledge that any dalil that is dhanni is based on ijtihad are you with me it's based on striving such as qiyas or khabar wahid singular narration wa nahwi dhalik ibn the sheikh abdullah ibn salih fawzan is refuting a very important point he says wa amma ma ishtahara inda kathir bi mu'allifi al-usul as for that which has spread what has spread what what has spread amongst the people pay attention amongst the people of usul al-fiqh and he's referring to the mutakallimin the people of speech kalam ahlu kalam in the people of philosophy and logic ah what spread on uh, what spread on them in their minds is what bi anna dalil dalil is only ma afad al-ilm anyone anything that benefits you knowledge certainty wa amma ma yufid al-dhan and anything that benefits you dhan they said فهو أمارة it's not evidence it's a sign anything that comes to you by way of ضن is not a دليل and what is it it's a أمارة it's a sign والأمارة and what we we know is أمارة which is a sign is أضعف من الدليل is weaker than the evidence so what will happen this is something we can't say then because what will happen and that's what they want to say is uh, they want to say that the qiyas and the khabar al-ahad are based upon what amarat signs they're not dalil so if they're not dalil you can take them or you can reject them wallahir the apparent is that and hadhihi tafriqati saying this this kind of speech and or this kind of differing or a meaning this kind of distinguishing of saying what that anything that comes to you by way of knowledge or certainty is called dalil and anything that comes to you by way of dhan is called amara this kind of dividing and this kind of typing ha huh? or distinguishing or categorizing is what ja'at min al-mu'tazila it came from the mu'tazila ah wa man wafaqahum and anybody who agrees with them min nufat sifat those who want to dis, they want to negate the characteristics of allah that's the steps they use li anna dalil because the evidence is what ba arshadak ila almatlub because dalil really is that which will reach you to what you're looking for faqad yurshiduka sometimes the evidence might lead you to maratan ila alilm sometimes it might lead you to knowledge wa maratan and sometimes it might lead you to dhan either way it's, it's as long as it reaches you to what you're looking for fastahaqqa and because of that it is rightful ha ismu dalil the term dalil to be used fil halayni both of the times whether it comes to you by way of knowledge or if it comes to you by way of dhan it doesn't matter both times it's called the dalil wal arabu and the arabs 
La tufarriqu, the Arabs do not, def, they do not categorize. Bayna ma yujibu al-ilm, between that which comes to you by way of knowledge, wa ma yujibu al-dhan, and that which necessitates dhan, when it comes to what? Fi itraq ismi dalil placing the word dalil on it. Wa qad ta'abbadana Allah, and Allah has placed us as his servants in worshipping him in both of the situations, whether it comes to us by way of dhan, or if it comes to us by way of knowledge, Allah has made us his servants and we have to follow him in it. Both of them. If you really want to look more into this issue, I advise you to go to the al Luba fi usul al-fiqh. Abis Haq al-Shirazi, he talks about it in very good details. And also Abu Mudhafar al-Sab'ari in his kitab Qawat' al-Adilla, he talks about it in very good details. Very good details. Uh, we'll stop there. Wallahu a'lam wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa tabi'ina lahum bi ihsanin ila yawm al-deen.